Hey, how's it going? Jacob from Cultivate, Cultivate Colorado, and we're back from Tube Town again with another top five. Today we're gonna be going top five medias for drip irrigation. So in front of me, first off, I have a bunch of the medias we're gonna be going through. Some might think that with drip irrigation, it's kind of a one scenario fits all, but that's not true at all. Different sizes and different medias take different sizes and different lengths and different sorts of emitters. So we're gonna go over some of that as well as what some of our favorites here are at the store and what kind of sizes we recommend with those. So without further ado, let's jump into it with number five. Coming in at number five on our list of media for irrigation is a classic, Fox Farm Ocean Forest. This stuff has been around forever. And oftentimes people do do beds of this where you would probably get a drip line that we would also sell from Netafim that would drop drip little droplets all along the bed. But if you're gonna be going in a pot and a lot of people like this soil, five gallons and up, you see a lot of people growing in 20 gallons, 15 gallons. Go big or go home, baby that kind of size, you're gonna want a bigger dripper, something like a 6.6 .6 gallon per hour, something probably with a spray or two instead of an actual dripper. This Netafim right here is a 6.6 .6 sprayer that would go with the 6.6 .6 button. You could do three or four of those in a 20 gallon pot. And with the sprayer, what's gonna be really nice with this kind of soil as it is an actual soil blend, you're gonna wanna water the whole top evenly and have it drain down evenly, as well as probably get some runoff. Let's get wet! So coming in at number five would be our Fox Farm Ocean Forest and a 3.2 gallon per hour or higher dripper. Coming in at number four on our top five medias for irrigation is a new product that's actually gained a lot of popularity because it is a living soil in a bag. The stuff is really cool. So hum living soils. Living soil, if you're not familiar, is basically everything, all the nutrition you need to feed everything in the bag already. It's alive. It's alive. So you don't have to add other things. You're not feeding it nutrients usually. If you are, it's just like maybe some carbohydrates, maybe some uh, guano, stuff like that. Everything ready to use right in the bag, which is why it's great for irrigation because you don't run any nutrients through the line. So your lines stay clean all the time, which allows you to use an array of different kinds of drippers, everything from big to small. This, just like the ocean forest, a lot of people use in bigger pots, I'd say probably 15 to 25 gallon pots, if not like a four by four bed. With the bed, you could do the surface line that I've talked about in the introduction, or a bunch of these 3.2s, like in a four by four bed, you do like 16 of these things, you'll have full coverage, excellent coverage for this soil. Full coverage, hmm. Um, a lot of different ways that you could irrigate a soil like this, as always, if you have questions or have an individual project, make sure to reach out to us at the link below. Again, at number four, live in soil from Sohum. Next, coming to you at number three on our top five medias for irrigation are the compressed cocoa blocks that come in their own pot. Now these things have gotten really popular lately. They're really cool. Um, I have a couple different products here. I got some starter blocks from Charcor. I got some of the blocks from the Grow It Rapid Rise, as well as the Rio Coco. So a lot of different options here. So basically what's going on, I can show you here on this open bag, open top, one gallon from Rio Coco, is that they have the compressed cocoa right in the bag. All you have to do is hydrate it. So with this, it's really easy if you have a drip system. You just take your emitter, you stick it in there, you turn on your drip system, it's gonna fill up the bag, then you'll be able to plant right into it. Golly, that sounds simple enough. It's really easy to plant into, terrific cocoa, makes transplanting really, really, really easy. We've seen a lot more people going towards these because you can treat them almost like Rockwall. Smaller pot, more consistent feedings, and more times a day, feed, 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 feed. I've seen people grow five, six foot plants and these grow at six by six by four blocks. So you can really nail it. Usually people are using a one gallon per hour, maybe even smaller, sometimes as small as a quarter gallon per hour dripper, just like they would with rock wool, and just consistently feeding, feeding, feeding. With these, you're gonna wanna use an angle dripper so you don't have water spraying outside of it. They do make bigger sizes, 
Probably the biggest size that we as sell is around a three gallon. I know they make bigger ones, but it seems like when people get over that, they're just going back to the straight cocoa in a pot. It is not a problem. It is a circle of life. So again, number three, couple different brands here would be the compressed cocoa blocks. Coming in at number two on our list of media for irrigation is a classic and one of the items that are medias that really started the whole irrigation and pulse feeding and multiple feedings and all sorts of different research would be Grodan or Rockwool. Cultaline's another good one. There's a couple different brands out there. Grodan is really just like the staple name usually people know. So we have three of their products here. They make a lot more of them. This is kind of what we see the most. Um, generally people will plant into one of these, a little four by four by four block. GR10 is what Grodan calls it. Transplanting that until you get a pretty decent plant. Um, usually people are using anywhere from a half gallon to one gallon per hour in this size, which would again be the angle barb dripper here. Then after that, usually they're taking this block and they're putting it on top of the Hugo. You put it on top of the Hugo, kind of as such. Generally, people are putting these stakes in the bottom block to promote the roots growing down and not staying in this block. That's a real, real popular combination we see. Also, we see a lot of people that will either veg in the, basically which would be the GR32 or the, the new improved Hugo block as they've always been recorded as six by six by six, either veg in this or the GR10 and then right onto the grow slab, cut a square in there, pop it right in there. And then again, using anything from a quarter gallon per hour all the way up to two gallon per hour. But with the angle barb stake, you really don't want to use sprayers with the Grodan as they take a little bit of time to absorb. And if you're just spraying it on the surface, it's not gonna, you're gonna definitely get some loss. It's no good. So number two on our list, Grodan. Great product. Coming in at number one on our top five medias for irrigation are the two growers blends. We here have Growers Organic Cocoa and Growers 7030 Cocoa Perlite Mix. These products are both cocoa based. They are both inert products, so there's no organic material, which means you can feed them nutrients from day one. These you can grow in any size pot from four by four up to 100 gallon, you name it. There's a solution and people have done it with these. People love the cocoa products because you can just feed, 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 really get a consistent schedule. Either one of these, you can use big drippers to small drippers, really depending on the pot size. We see a lot of people using the straight cocoa in real small pots, one gallons, two gallons, three gallons, and then the cocoa perlite in the two to five to seven gallon pot. And then, you know, when you're using the smaller pots, like we've said before, make sure you're using the smaller gallon per hour dripper with usually an angle barb stake so that you don't have a lot of overspray. And with the bigger pots, multiple of the 3.2 and larger, with the single-sided or double-sided stake, you can't go wrong. No, you can't, can't go wrong with that. Both these products from Growers are terrific, very clean products. You can feed from day one, won't cause you any issues at all, which is why they are number one on our top five medias for irrigation. Thank you again for stopping by here at Tube Town for another irrigation video here with Cultivate. As always, if you found this information useful, make sure you follow us on our YouTube channel. We're constantly releasing product reviews, top fives, industry standards, everything you could imagine. Make sure you follow us there, rate and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, make sure you give us a call at the number below. We're always here to help you, especially with irrigation projects. We've helped with people all the way as far as the UK get their jobs done. So make sure you reach out to us if you have any questions. Today, we went over a top five. By no means is that all that we carry. We have tons of different sizes and all the irrigation pieces, as well as different companies. Make sure you follow us for our new videos, and we will see you again next time.